Your sisters are biased. They're biased to you. Your, your friend is biased. They're biased towards you. Your mother, your father, anybody else in your circle, they're going to be biased towards you. They're not going to be unbiased. They're your friends. They're your family. They're your kinfolk. They, they're not going to be unbiased. They're going to be biased to you because they have a relationship with you. Everything should start in house. What you say to your 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 um circle? My circle is my sisters. What you and my daughter at this point because she's twenty. What you should say to those people should be after you've already come to this person with the situation, and just have an ear, an unbiased ear, and like Sham Sh they said. Um, you just have to be very aware of who you're having those conversations with. But, you know, I feel like I was watching um, this monologue by Anthony Hopkins earlier, and um, I'm in a real Zen mood right now. So I'm going to tell y'all, he said that uh, love and um, being in a relationship is about not only the splendor and the bliss, but the acceptance that people go through shit just like you. And that when you're the, the same kind of things that you're fighting and emotions that you're fighting, so is that man, so is that woman. So it's about acceptance of that person and the love and the trust and figuring out what's really true. It was a little bit more detailed than that. But um, I think we overthinking this shit. If you have a problem with somebody or something that they're doing, address it. Address it. If it's not addressed, then you seek counseling together. If you want to take get outside sources, like I don't even know what to do. Like how you know what I mean? Like he not listening. We've had this talk twice. I don't see anything wrong with that because good people will suggest. Well, maybe y'all should go to counseling. Hating bitches gonna be like, oh, well, you need to leave that. Mm -hmm. So you need to be mindful of who you telling your business to. But you should always start with the guy or the female. Like, I don't... That's just common sense, right? Yeah, or... Uh, it is it is common sense to the people that it makes sense to, but uh, it's a lot of people that don't operate in that manner. So it'd be hard. You'd be hard pressed trying to explain to somebody how to communicate because most people in America, from what I've seen, they don't know how to communicate. Yeah. You got to learn how to communicate effectively. We don't. Get well, they got to see that it's a problem. A lot of people don't don't see it yeah. and they're not trying to deal with it. Like they say, I don't got time for this. They're go, go on about your business. Um, I would ignore you. Yeah, like they say, like you're done. I'm about to get out the phone. You're done. Yeah, people. Yeah. <laughs> because that's they're trying to. Again, <laughs> challenging. That's when they start to run because they don't want to be able to process through it. Go ahead, Luis. Yeah, I was gonna add this, and and I I want to kind of tie this all back to the video. You know, kind of talk about what we just finished. You know, expressing and sharing. I it seems like you know the women, um, you know, express that. It, it is much easier, much more comfortable to to talk to a family member or a sister because there isn't that um, initial reaction or you feel like you're not going to be judged or you're trying to run something by them before you talk to your person, right? And I get and understand that. I don't think that's However, what anybody said, though. Who said that? I see oh. when have brought that up. I, oh, but I also, yeah, but I, but I also express what Mila also talked about as well. I might have not hit on your point, and it still stands valid. However, I'm just talking about just an array of different scenarios. So, um, you know, with that being said, it, just kind of bringing that back to the light to go back to the video. It seems like okay, like the ladies you know, have these different outlets, all these other support or safety groups that they could go to and have these conversations. And however, sometimes the men don't necessarily have that. Or if you're in a marriage group within a close proximity of other married individuals, you know, the wife's friend, you know, the wife tells the husband, which he later has a conversation with 
potentially that man, right? And sort of he already might come with the preconceived notion of aligning himself with his wife, which is aligned with, you know, uh, the husband's wife, right? And sort of it becomes more of like, okay, no one sees it from the man's perspective, but nobody has gone to him to allow him space or that same sort of refuge that was presented to the woman, right? It seems like it's off balance. And I guess that, you know, based on everybody's different perspectives that was shared, just trying to tie it all back to the video, I guess that the underlining pinning of the com of the topic was that this is our examples or moments where the man is removed from the conversation and is later brought back in as the afterthought. All right. Anybody else want to my violin? Like I feel like that was a whole made up like maybe I'm in a mood, but I I don't feel like that's what happened at all. I mean, maybe in the video that's what happened, but on the panel, that's not what happened. Nobody removed anybody. Like I'm sure you know what? Don't worry but, about it. Maybe I'm but so I'm not, but cookie, but I'm not talking about necessarily on the panel. I'm talking I'm talking about I'm juxtaposing everybody's submission on their perspective. And then I'm going back to the video of the topic in being, well, it seems to me, based on what everybody has shared and me thinking about what the video in the topic has been and how she was expressing, you know, the woman in the video expressing how there is an inability to create that same space for the man. I am saying that I guess based on what we have talked about, we had removed the man. You know what I'm saying? As it pertains to the video. Okay. Shan, Hank, Mila. Look, man, I, I, I mean, we, we just sit there and witnessed it up here just a second ago. What, what we was talking about. We, we just witnessed it. So, Cookie, you sit there and said nobody said it, but Shan just admitted that she, she's the one that said it. So it does happen. We can't sit there and say it doesn't happen. Just because you don't do it doesn't mean it don't happen. I never said you that. Said that. Said said the women on the panel. I'm, I, I'm not trying to turn into uh, my boy Sweeney, but be specific. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Because so hold on. You, I you know want us, me. You want, you want him, so Luis, next time what you need to do is call out the people's names, who exactly who you're talking about. No, every every but woman, besides be like some women on every the panel, woman, like, I, got you, I got you. I'm gonna do it for him. Every woman besides Cookie has something to say no. about this. And was it? No. Every woman on her besides some, Cookie there's like didn't do some, this. A lot. Cookie didn't do this. I, I got you, Cookie. Come on, man. Everybody else did it. Everybody else did it. Yet we sit down watching this video. This shit happens. We we'll sit down. Look, we'll sit down and go and go outside and watch this shit happen, and then talk about pick some about bias. Your sisters are biased. They bias to you. Your your friend is biased. They're biased towards you. Your mother, your father, anybody else in your circle, they're going to be biased towards you. They're not going to be unbiased. They're your friends. They're your family. They're your kin folk. They. They're not going to be unbiased. They're going to be biased you because they have a relationship with you. But what I'm saying now, is I'm calling can, bullshit on that. That's what y'all assume is male. Can I finish, please? Can I finish, please, ma'am? Can I finish, sure. please? Sure. On you, with the cap. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, so unless you get a third party in there, like a counselor, something like that, yeah, that, that, more like they're going to be unbiased. Everybody else is going to be, even your pastor, he may have a more of a relationship with you than he does with me. He's going to be biased. It should be expected. Mm. Y'all just keep people around y'all that aren't biased and that will tell yeah. you about yourself. I don't, yeah. I can't relate to that. Y'all are, y'all keep speaking on shit I don't relate to. So that's what I'm saying. I might, you know how many times I just told my sister, you wrong as hell. You're wrong. And they'll tell me, we that's the kind of relationship I wouldn't hang, everybody don't hang out with their sisters. Actually, I know a lot of sisters that can't stand each other. 
But what I'm trying to tell you is being automatically assumed because a woman is running to or whatever y'all want to call it, uh, getting outside. Uh, really, it's just the tea of what's going on that is automatically, girl, it, 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 that's not how all women operate. Some women do. But what I'm telling y'all is in your head, you're making shit up and you're automatically assuming that you're going, she's going to bias friends. This is going to pick her side, pick her side. When in reality, a lot of educated, smart females know to keep neutral people around or people that are going to be neutral or going to tell them about themselves. Mm-hmm. So, like, I do want to ask this so question. Just stupid and just yeah, feed like, me I do, lies. I do want to ask this question. But does it make a difference if they're like married or not? So, if the if the couple is married, then should that husband and wife not seek outside like without permission? I absolutely believe a married couple should not be discussing anything outside. Okay. I will say that. Uh, but if you're in a relationship and you build and there's somebody thinking about marrying, like I had a situation where I was like, this person doesn't communicate well. He does. I've told him. I've told them. And my sister told me, she was like, you got to be more patient. It might be just in his nature. She told me I was wrong. Period, point blank. So now I'm being more patient. So that's what I'm saying. I don't understand the whole, you run into people that's going to pacify you. I don't fucking do that. That's crazy. Go ahead, Shan. I do think that there's a difference. I think that if you are in a marriage, you guys should speak it over. And that way you guys can agree to go see a counselor if you, you guys feel like there needs to be another person involved. But outside of that, uh, so so first and foremost, I want I, I agree with Cookie. You have friends who you can go to who you know are going to tell you the truth. Those are the friends that I usually seek. I don't want a yes man. I want to know honestly the, you know, so I can know how to approach, right? If I did something wrong, I want to start with an apology. I'm not afraid to apologize when I know I'm wrong, right? Just most of the time, I don't think I'm wrong. But but usually, <laughs> <tell me. laughs> I'm wrong. Like JR told me I was wrong. And so we had like a little meeting, you know what I'm saying? But um, so you go to somebody who's unbiased. So I agree with Cookie on that. Um, but as far as JR's um, question about um, the difference, yes. Because if I go to my dad, I'm asking about these male traits. I don't know much about men, right? And I'm, it's a part of the vetting. You're getting to know a person for possible marriage. I need to know the red flags. I'm not going to get that from a man who, who loves me, who can tell me, who, who has my best interests at heart. So I do think that there's a total difference between you vetting to get to that point and you yeah. actually being like, we've already chosen each other. This is our, we're one. <laughs> This is our life together. What do we do from, you know? But again, it's important to seek people who are who have the entire unity's best interest at heart. Not just yours, not his, but the entire unity. Who want to see you guys progress and grow together. It's going to be honest with you. Okay. So do, do, we, do, we, see the, do we see the difference in how y'all ladies think compared to how the men think? Y'all see that? Yeah, we're different. You sometimes you got, you, 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 you're correct. So, to y'all, y'all saying they're saying family members are unbiased, friends are unbiased. How could people who I believe, who I choose, I'm we talking about friends first, not family. We're talking about friends. How could people who I choose to circle myself around with be unbiased? When I have a relationship with them, that's the bias automatic right then and there. My family, they got blood running through their veins. They carry my last name, but they under bias. That's far from the truth. I ever because heard my we life. were raised no way correctly. They're well, I'm well, I'm so how can they be un completely unbiased? Because at the end of the day, they're going to think about at the end of the day, that man ain't kin to me. He has no tie to me. Only way he's tied to me, because Shan dates him. If Shan didn't date him, that man would have nothing to do with it. I care less. But I care about Shan, because she's my but sister. What, 
let me ask you a question, Heath. Then what is betting? Something y'all always preach we have to have our elders do betting. What is that? Isn't that a part of vetting somebody? If you have a daughter and, you, and you're you vetting this man, would you not want to know so you can make an informative decision when you're vetting this man for your daughter? Well, let, let me help you out. Answer her question, though. I think you're about to answer, but I got to <laughs> <laughs> so I understand why we have the differences. So I believe in my whole heart that y'all don't give a man a, a near near space to talk shit. Don't say nothing. Y'all can't even give me an opportunity to get it out. Y'all are demonstrating what I'm talking about. Thank you for being the example that I need. So, Shan, to answer your question, ma'am, what is vetting? That's different from what we're talking about. What we're talking about now is dealing with issues in the, in the household, in the relationship. Vetting is something totally different. Vetting are, are a series of questions that you should be asking, inquiring about the person you are interested in. That's what vetting should be. Putting the situations out there for them people to see how they respond, see how they react, and see how they move from it. Not just with their words, but with their actions. That's the vetting part. What we're talking about now, our situation. If me and you was in a relationship and we had an argument about finances, and you go sit there and have a conversation with, with, with JR, your brother. Why are you talking to your brother about what, what's going on in our house? Hey, we struggling. Is, we is barely this a marriage a or just an un, just is this a marriage? Are you just saying I, I just want to clarify? Chan, 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 I don't care what it is. It's a marriage or it's it just a relationship. A Okay, it, well, it doesn't matter. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about me, man. To me, it doesn't matter because if, if I'm in a relationship with you, I'm looking to marry you, right? So I need to go and prep you now. I don't want to wait till you become my wife and you start changing and I'm talking to your goddamn brother. I need to start to train you, educate you, uh, uh, show you that's not what we're going to do. J.I. needs no, nothing to do with our relationship. Unless I'm putting my hands on you physically, I'm emotionally abusing you. He has nothing to do with our relationship. I don't, J.I., appreciate you offering up loan money, but we're fine. We're going to find a way how to make this thing work. No. Allow us to handle it. Everybody don't need to be putting their hands in our stool. It ain't going to do but fuck our stool up. I don't want nobody fucking up my cooking. So he don't need to be putting his ingredients in my shit. That's fair. I think that that should just be a conversation. Everybody handles conflict different. Everybody Welcome to the dark different. side, man. Uh, everybody, I think it just needs to be a conversation. Like if a man tells me that he is the type of person who do not like for me to tell people or vent to other people, then hey, I'm going to respect that. We need to get a counselor ASAP. If you need me to address things head on without getting no outside thoughts, nothing, that's totally fine. I can respect that. We're going to need a therapist then because I know that I need, like, I need to process stuff and I can't process my thoughts with my partner. Like, cause I'm talking to my partner. So if you're, if you tell me after two months of dating that, oh, well, I don't like for nobody to know my business. This just between me and you. I don't, don't talk to nobody. Cool. That's fine. That's your boundary. Cause that's your boundary. You telling me that's your boundary. Cool. Then we don't have to be in therapy in two months because I need to process. And when you're dealing with situations and in situations, that's a part of vetting. I feel like when you're dealing with situations, you're having different life experiences with each other as you are in your dating process. That's a part of the vetting experience. So if we're having issues or whatever, then a therapist would need to be involved early on. But that may not be necessary. I think that's why people may go to their friend. And I think that if you're surrounded by highly intelligent people, that's the key. Highly intelligent. You can be a non-biased party. Because if you understand that we're all connected, me, you, her, him, them, the, how, you, we're all technically connected. I can care about you. I can care about her. I can care about everybody. Because if you understand connectivity in the real actual law of the universe, you will understand I am you, you are me. So if I care about you, I care about me. If I care about her, I care about him. 
but that's a little bit too deep for some people. Some people don't operate on that frequency and that's okay. You're not on that frequency. That's going to go above your head. But if people come to me, I just had a person come to me because I'm a non-biased person, friends, families, everything. People come to me because I am one, I'm very non-biased. I will sit up here and tell somebody you is dead ass wrong. You, you wrong. I don't, you could be my, my mama. She would come to me and I'm like, mama, you are wrong. You need to apologize. I don't care what he did, what he said. You're wrong. But my homeboys come to me. They be wrong. Women come to me. They be wrong. People, If you wrong, you wrong. And that's why people come to me because they know like 100% everyone who knows me knows Mila is going to give you the most non-biased opinion. It's going to hurt your feelings. It's going to piss you off. It's going to make you say, fuck you. But at the end of the day, I'm going to listen to this person. I'm going to listen to that person. And I'm going to tell you like, hey, you wrong. This is a communication issue. You fucked up. You need to apologize. But once again, you got to have them type of people around. Everybody not like that. that them like one percenters. Them is one percenter people. But like I said, if you're a highly intuitive person, you intelligent, you're going to at least have you one person like that in your life. One person. One person. But I hope that you find that person here. But I also feel like men, I remember somebody was saying men be overlooked. Y'all don't express. Y'all, oh, I'm good. I ain't got nothing to say. It's good over here. Da, 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 da. So if you're not expressive, women, we expressive. You going to see shit on our faces. You going to hear what our attitude change, our mood change, whatever. So we're already letting you know that it's a problem. Men, y'all will hold shit in for months. Yours, 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 and a motherfucker don't know. You want us to read y'all minds, women? We gonna tell you when something wrong with something, our energy, something. Me and y'all be so low key with it. Well, I'm a man. I don't want to cry. I got it. It's all good. Duck, duck, do the deep dot, and then be then go complain about how women don't hear you, women don't listen, women tell everybody else their business, women don't come to us. Da 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 da. No, a lot of men are not being expressive. I hope. That's my biggest issue with men. Tell me what the fuck the problem is. Say what it is. Because that way I can make the conscious decision on if I can meet your needs. If you tell me you need a woman that don't talk to nobody else, who ready to be married in a year, who don't communicate with nobody else, who do X, Y, and Z, who you been heartbroken or you didn't feel like this was a safe place, and you tell me this stuff in our dating process, now, as a woman, I can say, well, is this something that I can handle? I know that I handle conflict like this. He don't like for me to handle conflict like this. Long term, would this be an issue in our compatibility? Maybe so. Maybe I won't waste my time with him and he won't waste my time with me because long term, if something major happens, he's going to get an attitude with me because I decided to go tell my best friend that I, I'm stressed out. These are the things that y'all need to communicate, right? Like, if you don't want no woman that talks to nobody else, say that in the day, day one. I don't like my business out there. I don't want I'm nobody to know my saying. financial issues. I don't want anything out there because everybody not like that. This I, is not everybody. And I think the issue is with dating is that we are making assumptions about everybody. Every man and every woman is different. And the problem is we are not communicating what we need and want in our dynamics. And then we're getting mad. All women did. All men that. No. Focus on your partner. Was that woman wrong in the video? Yes. She should have brought that shit to her husband. But hey, how we don't know she'd have been bringing this to her husband for five years and he ain't never did nothing. She and her wits in and she don't want to get married, get a divorce. So she like, well, what can I do? Right? We don't, we don't know this. But I think the issue is that people not communicating and we're all different. So Pink, you may need a different type of woman that I, Louise yeah. may need. You know what I'm saying? Because we different. And I just think that's the underlying issue. It's all about communication. And in our generation, we're not communicating. And communicating is, is being able to say, I like to talk like this, and I don't. Okay, I'm done. Sorry, I was ranting. That's just about for me. <laughs> we know you do not like in communication. You gonna tell them? Yeah, I'm gonna tell them. Damn, I'm single and I ain't got no life. I be waiting to talk because I ain't got no life. <laughs> no, I love the passion. You know, I love the expressiveness. I love the passion.